It was a battle between two of the top 10 FCS teams in the country as the 10th ranked JMU Dukes took on the 5th ranked tribe of William & Mary. We start with the first play of the second quarter. Game knotted up at zero. JMU quarterback Justin Thorpe looking long and wide open is his receiver Kirby Long and Long does the rest for the 52 yard touchdown to give JMU the seven to nothing lead. Next series for the Dukes, it's running back Daquan Scott taking the snap in the Wildcat formation and powering his way up the middle for 18 yards inside the William & Mary 40 yard line. This would lead to a 26 yard field goal for Cameron Stark to extend JMU's lead to 10. Third quarter, William & Mary quarterback Michael Graham deep in his own end zone connects with his receiver Ryan Moody who makes the great catch for 34 yards. Later in the drive, Graham looking to get the Tribe on the board. Fakes to Grimes, steps up in the pocket, looks left, that's going to be pass interfered. It won't matter. Touchdown, Mangus, as he beat Lavander Jones. And now, William & Mary is right back in it. Later in the quarter, William & Mary with the football. Running back Keith McBride is stripped by JMU linebacker Stephon Robertson and it's recovered by Anthony McDaniel for the Dukes, first turnover of the game. This would lead to a three yard touchdown run for Scott and JMU back up by 10. Fourth quarter, JMU kicker Cameron Stark connects on a 34 yard field goal on a JMU drive that took up 12 plays in over seven minutes. The Tribe looking to get back in it. Graham gets it to his tight end Alex Gottlieb and he scores to cut the JMU lead to 20 to 14 with a minute and 25 to go. The Tribe lining up for the onside kick, but it's recovered by JMU's Daniel Brown and that would end the comeback attempt for the Tribe as the Dukes improved to three and one with a 20 to 14 win.